Kate. And my, uh, my biggest thank you of the day. Or, or my wife, as I should now say. So there can, there can be no thank you big enough for how grateful I am for everything you do for me. You, you put me in our relationship before even yourself and everything that you do. And I really mean it when I say I can't thank you enough for that. I'm so proud of everything that you have achieved at work. You play it down all the time, but what you have done at Boohoo is unbelievable. And then sometimes you should step, take a step back and look at what you have done there. Woo! Woo! I do not know how you have the patience and calmness to put up with me, but the fact that you do makes me, feel, makes me so happy. I am so excited to, to grow old with you and enjoy everything else that we will do in life together. You are my best friend. Sorry, John. And, and, and I never thought that it would be possible to feel how I feel about, about you, Kate. I know I say it all the time, but I really do love you. So, my next thank you, the grooms, the groomsmen. And I like to, hey, no one, no one cheered them, everyone cheered the bridesmaids. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> uh, so, and I'd like to extend that thank you to my mates. You really are more than I could ask for in a group of mates. We've been through ups and downs, and I know whatever we, ha we have to take on in life, we'll be there for each other. So, the, the bridesmaids, or the bride squad, as it's been extended to. The fact that Kate couldn't keep you down to single digits really does say a lot about how close you were to, as mates and as sisters. So I'd just like to say thank you for organising what seems to be the most amazing hen do. And everything you do for Kate, you are a really great group of friends. Kate's probably the only person I know that's had four hen do's. <laughs> Thankfully, the lads didn't take me to Hamburg four times. So to the stag, probably the least said about the stag, the better. But I do want to say a big thank you to everyone that made the effort on what was honestly one of the best weekends of my life. What summarises it well, the fact that 22 of us went and only 19 came home. <laughs> Yet the three people that didn't make it home were from three different sets of mates sticking together in a sign of solidarity after just knowing each other for, for two days shows what a loyal, caring group of lads you are. And I'm sure the big sexy and Matty's holiday romance will continue this evening. Kate, you look beautiful. It was never in doubt how amazing you'd look. In fact, I'm sure I've caught Jack counting his lucky stars on several occasions. That or he's trying to work out how many burgers he had in the past week. <laughs> Bridesmaids, you've absolutely slayed today. And all 27 of Kate's Hendus. Thanks for giving this formally single lady no an amazing send off. A quick shout out to all the kings and queens who's uh, contributed to an unbelievable stag do in Hamburg. Truly a top bunch of lads and so great to see everyone getting on so well with each other. Especially Matty and the Big Sexy who managed to tag on a quick romantic trip to Dusseldorf at the end of the stag.
Final thank you today goes to Mr. Fisher. Thank you for all the, you put, all the effort that you put into my stag and for being the older brother that I never had. Ka Kate's made a cry, not you. <laughs> I, I, uh, I knew that we would be, would be mates from the day that you took me under my wing at rugby initiation. And for those of you who have met John tonight, he did used to play rugby. Uh, while all the fresh was down chili vodka, I was pretending that my, my throat burned while I drink, drank the identically coloured pear vodka and our, and our friendship was formed. Is all I need. Your love is like the air I breathe, and when I promise you. Kate and I are, luck are lucky enough that so many of you are here that could join us today. And the people that are close in our lives could be here to celebrate with us. Although there are a small number of people, namely grandparents, that could not be here, who we would love to be here today, I'd just like to toast absent family and friends. up the world, making some noise, singing your song. Welcome back to where you belong. You've been gone, but you've never been alone. Cause I was there with you, showing you the road that leads back home. Catherine, today I pledge to spend the rest of my life with you. I will be faithful and honest. I will share with you my thoughts and dreams. I will always be there when you need me most. I will respect and support you. 
as we go through life together. As we go through life together. I call upon these persons here present to witness the I, Jack. To witness the I, Catherine. To take thee, Catherine. Do take thee, Jack. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded husband. I will love and care for you. Honour and cherish you. Whatever the future may bring. Welcome back to where you belong. All that I have, I give to you. All that I am, I share with you. I give you this ring. A symbol of my love. For today, for tomorrow. And all the years to come. Back home. Welcome home. As life goes, we'll write a story we tell to a very own. So let's live lost in the moment, taking it all in as we go. You know, I'm counting on a Go ahead and get up Just live your life
surprise you Spending all your time looking for a pot of gold It doesn't matter if you're missing all the rainbows Don't let these moments go to waste Don't you worry about tomorrow Cause your luck's about to change You got a hundred John, despite your uh, shortfall of being a Welsh rugby fan, I would just like to thank you for everything you do for Kate. You continuously go above and beyond and you treat her like one of your own daughters. I know you do anything to make her happy and that means so much to both of us. Jill, I want to thank you and, and thank you and John for everything you've done for us and continuously do for Kate. You two have the most loyal sisterly of relationships and it's so warming to be around. I guess my biggest thank you probably has to go to you today for raising Kate into the most wonderful woman that I could ever imagine bringing up to, her up to be the person that I want to marry and spend the rest of my life with. So to my mum and dad, thank you so much for everything you've done and contributed towards the wedding. We're both so, so thankful. But I'm not only thankful for the financial contribution today, I'm thankful for everything, which, which I am grateful for. <laughs> I'm also thankful for everything that you've ever done for me and Daisy. Looking back on my childhood, I could not have asked for anything more. The sacrifice you two made moving out of South London, where you would have called home to St Albans, so that Daisy and I could have a safer, more enjoyable upbringing, is just one of the, self, the examples of selfless acts that you two made putting us two first. I really say thank you to you two, but I hope you don't think I take you for granted. The list of things I could thank you two for is never ending. You have given me the confidence and support to achieve everything I have in life, and I continu con from continuous trips to rugby clubs across the South East as a teenager to financially supporting me after school where, while I started my career. I would never have been able to do anything, everything, anything I've done without you. I'm a firm believer that things happen in life for a reason. And Jack, uh, Jack's long, Kate with, long game with Kate was not the exception. After spending more time with Kate myself, including the numerous dance-offs we've had over the years, it's easy to see what Jack sees in Kate. And I'm privileged to have an hour as a friend too. Kate, you are a dance floor diva and you have the patience of a saint. And for that reason, it's such a shame that you married such a bad dancer. <laughs> Jack, where do I start? Who knew that by changing that shot of chili vodka, I was gonna make a friend for life? My teammate, my flatmate. <laughs> my blazer wanker. <laughs> my brother. It's the ultimate honour to be stood here as your best man. From cycling from London to Paris to, with Sully to raise money for a friend, to getting christened and learning the Lord's Prayer so that you could be the godfather to mighty son Seth, and even just managing to NLP Kate into allowing you to move to the flat next door to us when you had to move out. You are an award-winning friend. You're an inspiration to us all. You've always been there with great advice for me, like telling me to swallow my pride and run. And you've always been in my corner and I'll always be in, be in your house. <laughs> I love you both dearly. And I don't think I need to provide you with any words of wisdom on marriage, as Kate, I think you're in a pair of safe hands with Jack. So the toast is, the greed and Kate, a recipe for success. Thank you.